In this video, we'll talk about alkaptonuria, which is a genetic and metabolic disorder. So alkaptonuria is a rare autosomal recessive metabolic disorder caused by a deficiency in the enzyme homogentesic acid oxidase or AGAO. Homogentesic acid oxidase is an enzyme that converts homogentesic acid into methyl acetoacetate. So basically, this enzyme catabolizes the homogentesic acid. Eventually, the methyl acetoacetate is channeled into other pathways. So this particular enzyme is encoded by the gene AGD. And in cases of mutation in this gene, the enzyme production is abrogated. When the, there is a deficiency in this enzyme, Obviously, homogentesic acid cannot be catabolized properly and that leads to accumulation of homogentesic acid in the body and this is the key cause of alkaptonuria. So let's see what happens when homogentesic acid builds up, it can eventually be excreted in the urine and that can lead to a pigmented color in the urine. So the urine becomes dark brown or black. It can be also seen as a stain, black stain on the diapers of babies which, which has uh, alkaptonuria. Then it can also get deposited into specific tissues like the white part of your eyes, Clara, and in the ears it is also visible, uh, the black spot, and these are known as ochronosis. When it comes to inheritance of the AGD gene mutations, it's autosomal recessive. That means if both the parents are carrier, means one allele has the mutation, then there is kind of like 25% of the chance that the next generation would be affected by this particular disorder. And there is also a chance that there would be several carriers in the next generation. Let's talk about the clinical presentation of alkaptonuria. So obviously, urine color is one of the key deterministic, uh, deterministic uh, feature of alkaptonuria. Then ochronosis, that means progressive deposition of AGA in connective tissues, which lead to this kind of like bluish blackish appearance in the cartilage, sclera or in the skin, that which is also known as ochronosis, is a prominent feature of alkaptonuria. Also, AGA crystals can be accumulated in the joints leading to arthritis. And there could be also AGA crystals deposited on hard valves, creating cardiac problems. So the complications of alkaptonuria involves arthritis, which lead to joint deformities and eventually movement difficulties or disabilities. Cardiovascular valve dysfunction that might require surgical intervention in near future. And obviously, ochronosis in the eye, especially sclera or in the cornea can lead to eye complications and visual problems. When it comes to diagnosis of alkaptonuria, it can be diagnosed by simply looking at the urine color, also doing a simple assay from uh, plasma or urine to monitor the activity of uh, homogentesic acid oxidase activity. So this is determined from the urine sample or the plasma sample. And lastly, which is rare, but genetic testing is also confirmatory test for this kind of disease. So looking at the AGD gene mutation is one of the key way to uh, nail the conclusion that the patient is affected with alkaptonuria. So when it comes to treatment of alkaptonuria, you cannot really treat this disease because it's a genetic disorder, but it can be managed. For example, the diet could be modified if the diet uh, has low protein and has proteins which doesn't have that much of tyrosine or phenylalanine that means it won't be broken down into homogentesic acid so tyrosine or phenylalanine metabolism pathway leads to homogentesic acid production so if those elements are not there in the diet you would end up producing less of these metabol uh, metabolic intermediates then there is also something known as nitistone which inhibits the enzyme upstream of AGA formation. So ultimately it reduces the AGA production itself. And then 
there could be symptomatic management there could be pain due to this kind of deposition of hga in several regions so overall managing the pain and managing the symptom is another mode of treatment in this case so i hope this was useful get notes and flashcards in our facebook page or instagram all the links are provided in the description you can support our channel using super thanks see you in next video